before other people were integrating GPT, we started playing around with it. We built our own algorithm that are very, very core to the open source domains of search. How big is this AI industry and like why everyone are moving towards AI? Uh, AI can now book your flight. AI can code software. What are the things AI can't do? AI is never 100% accurate. That's probably uh, why there is this whole term called HITL, human in the loop. 17 doctors couldn't help her, but she got a solution diagnosis from AI. In that case, it went right, not because the doctors were kind of wrong. The drone in 3 idiots that was shown, that was from Idea Forge. Hey guys, this is Akshay and you're watching the Startup Tales where we bring the inspiring stories from the world of Tell about your background, like from uh, uh, what is your education background and then like, where you come from properly. I come from Kolkata. Uh, my education, I mean, after schooling went to Manipal, the main campus. So went to MIT Manipal. Yeah. So, uh, jo bhi Xylem AI. Uske pehle apne koi startup kiya tha, ya fir this is uh, the first one you're doing? I mean, no, this is not the first one. I mean, our company was registered in 2021. We started another startup back in college. It wasn't planned to be a startup. It was a hackathon kind of a thing that we participated in. It was in the mental health care space, mental health and wellness space. So once you start taking payments from people, it's just you better register a company kind of a situation is what we, we've registered the company. Uh, at some point we were doing 40, 50,000. Uh, we got selected for this accelerator in the US called Hult Price. Yeah. So we were actually the winners in India. But as soon as we started going B2B, it was becoming very service-oriented and that's not something that was exciting us too much. Uh, in college, we were actually building defense robots. So roughly a 120-150 kgs defense robot that would be used for terrain mapping, path planning operations, uh, rescue missions. So we that's what we were doing. Our like project was ranked 8th globally when it came to defense projects. We had international sponsors like NVIDIA, ANSYS, Dassault Systems, anybody who might have done mechanical engineering would have used softwares built by these people. And uh, after that, we went ahead. Like once we graduated, we had already uh, decided to pivot to something deeper into the AI stack. And GPT and everything was already in the hype. But before other people were integrating GPT, we started playing around with it. So we kind of picked some open source libraries. We... Uh, any way we understand DevOps and MLOps to a huge extent. So started building our own pipelines for search. We built our own algorithm on based on certain libraries that are very, very like that are very, very core to the open source domains of search. There were tools in the market that would allow you to do search like Pinecone, uh, Milvus, etc. These vector databases. Like we, we make sure that we don't just take something and plug it in. We try to modify it as much as we can to make the accuracy and performance better. So a lot of people started asking us, how do we do this? How can we integrate this? All our friends, all founders are also friends, engineers are also friends. So kind of tried to help them. And after, while helping them, we saw a pattern that there is a broken infrastructure in AI. That's when we kind of moved deeper in the AI stack and started Xylem AI, which is like Xylem AI had been the search tool as well. When we raised funds also, it was for Xylem. But then we kind of pivoted the product to more of a deeper AI infrastructure. So can you just tell me like how big is this AI industry and like why everyone are moving towards AI? Today it's around 57, 58 billion dollars only for the infrastructure layer. Can be la much larger and is also much larger than what it is today. Having said that, why everybody is hyped is because what you're looking at today is not traditional AI. Uh, AI can now book your flight. AI can code software. These are things that you had not seen before in the past. People are just excited i know some people are scared but most of them who are building it are very very excited just to see where it can go uh, there's this whole concept of agi there are these concepts of agents um, that's just ex extremely exciting to look at from just the onset itself so you told like uh, many people are even afraid of ai and then like uh, i can bring some scenarios and examples like there are some phone calls which are going as a human voice but they are the ai generated bots so human used to call one, two people or 10 people per day or something. Mm -hmm. But these AI bots are covering up to thousands and lakhs of people. And the chances of getting scammed or getting, being a victim 
is increasing. This is literally kind of an industrial revolution. The whole industry is getting, yeah, an entire industry is getting created, and other industries are getting disrupted by in this industry getting influenced in like infused into all of them. Banking, ho gaya, factories, ho gaya, manufacturing, ho gaya. Har jagah pe you are seeing AI going in now. But it is opening the opportunity even for the people who want to do bad, right? Yeah, yeah. Kam to chal raha hai. Okay, more than good people are misusing this thing. There's very la- a huge lack of awareness around AI, uh, and probably like podcasts and conversations like this will help on that. Like, Pro- can you just way. give example? Like, uh, what are the things AI can't do? AI is never hundred percent accurate. That's probably uh, why there is this whole term for. HITL human in the loop you'll always have to have a human in the loop when when you're looking at critical stuff ai can't go and like win you a criminal case in 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 a in a court but probably ai will help the lawyer to find information that can help them this case is of a woman mm. okay who had reached out to 14 doctors she had diagnosed her child after going to 14 doctors 17 doctors and 17 doctors couldn't help her mm. but she got a solution diagnosis from ai in that case it went right not because the doctors were kind of wrong 10 20 years of experience pakad lo they have spent most of their life uh treating patients in a single city or like a single hospital for a long time and the number of cases that they have been exposed to is still limited like you, if you look at the look at the country as a whole or the world as a whole there are million like maybe not millions but hundreds of thousands of hospitals abhi usme har hospital mein there are maybe 50 100 doctors you expect one doctor to know everything about the world kahan pe koi naya disease aa raha hai which has chances of maybe occurring once in 10 million maybe that doctor even hasn't seen 10 million patients in the even at once and they also are overworked like they also don't do 9 to 9 to 5 they do much more than that they are overworked on top so they don't even have the time to like maybe find the right information and how will they know what to look for all the time if it's very very unknown if it's not added into textbooks and uh, like new protocols all the time so that's probably the reason that, uh, that it happened for ai and ai can be trained across data that's fed from millions and millions of doctors so all of their experience all of their knowledge all the articles all the textbooks every new kind of disease that's coming that can be fed into any uh, a lot of the farming today in india is done manually but in in the us at least agriculture accounts for single digit percentage of their workforce in india it's not like that sab kuch automated hai wahan pe these are things that can be automated because humans can spend their minds to much deeper things probably that's the reason why people like us are very very uh, positive towards ai because it's taking away the mundane tasks that human brains should not be spent doing kind of kind of thing those are manual things that don't require too much of a uh, mental power largely can ai be integrated into uh, election commissions on the election front i know how ai is being used i have a bunch of Uh, founders that I know who are helping politicians kind of generate videos and audio in different languages so they can reach more people. Okay. Which is probably a better thing because a lot of people cannot connect with certain leaders because maybe the language is different, regions are different. Uh, can you tell me of the few of the startups who are working in this defense field and how it can change the defense industry? I think Idea Forge is great. Uh, Idea Forge recently went public. They are the biggest drone company in India. Yeah. recently went public the drone in 3d ads that was shown that was yeah. from idea forge oh. that was idea forge's first prototype it was in 10 i guess right or 8 8 7 8 something like that so that was the first drone they made as a prototype and that was used in that movie and at that time nobody knew how to even like go ahead and make drones abhi to like there is plug and play drones you just yeah. plug you get from the amazon just plug in and then yeah. you can fly so one thing that people think is defense is all about fighting like defense is all about wars There's a lot of things that the defense forces do that we don't even think about, like also surveillance. 